Hey everyone, Anna Kruger here with Mega Lead Conversion. And have you been feeling a little overwhelmed? <laughs> I've been hearing that from a lot of people lately. And I think it's because we're working a lot harder in real estate right now to get the same results we were previously. So it is normal to feel overwhelmed. So today we're gonna talk through how to know when you're overwhelmed and then what to do about it. All right, so some signs that you might be overwhelmed are you're having trouble remembering things, you might be stuttering and that's abnormal for you. You also might be having trouble making decisions or you're emotionally triggered. So you are having an emotional response to something that's inappropriate for the situation. All of these can be signs that you are just straight up overwhelmed. So there are three things that you can work through three simple questions that can help you move from overwhelm to organized. And usually this takes 15 minutes or less. I've done this with one-on-one -on -one clients for many years now, and I have yet to see this not work. So this does consistently work to get people out of overwhelm. All right, so step number one, it's called brain dump. And the question you're gonna ask yourself is, what's going on? For this, you're gonna just grab a piece of paper and you are literally going to write down everything that's on your mind. And it doesn't even have to make sense to anyone else or go together. So for example, it could be pick up dog food, put the listing in the MLS, negotiate the contract, stop by Home Depot, call back my mom. I mean, anything. You're just gonna get it down on the list. So that's the brainstorm. Step number two is you're going to prioritize. And the question for this one is what really matters? So number one, what's going on? Number two, what really matters? What I find helpful is to, to put things together. So for example, if I have three separate items that really are all just go to the grocery store, those three items become one. So for example, you might put you know, 15 items on your list. And in step number two, you're gonna narrow it down to maybe eight because some of them go together. So step number two is you're gonna prioritize starting by clumping things together and then just ranking an order of importance. A funny side note, a lot of people will add, go to bed on time <laughs> when they're prioritizing. So they will add an item and then go to bed on time, really helps. So step number one, what's really going on? Step number two, what really matters? And then step number three, you're going to then ask yourself, well, what am I going to do about it? And you have three options. Number one is you're gonna dump it. And that basically means get it off the list. You might have a fantastic idea that is not necessary to get done. And you're just gonna dump that off the list, maybe forever, or maybe just for right now. But either way, you're gonna get it off the list for right now. The second option would be to delegate it. So ask yourself, well, who could help me with this? And you're gonna delegate it to someone else. And by the way, maybe it means you hire a high schooler that you know to rake the yard. Yes, find people that can do some of this stuff for you. And then number three is do. So anything that you have not dumped off the list, delegated, you are now going to do. And that's a matter of just pull it up on your calendar and stick it in there. Most of the time when we do this activity, by the time you get down to the do list, we realize when you clump things together and you put them in the calendar, they really would not take as long as you would expect. So usually at the end of this activity, people are reporting that they feel so much better. So again, the three steps, number one, what's going on? Number two, what really matters? And then number three, what am I gonna do about it? And you're either gonna dump it, delegate it or do it. You might not feel like you have time for this activity. And I really encourage you take 15 minutes and do the activity. And in the big picture, you may save yourself hours of time because now you are organized and you can think. All right, well, we teach this kind of stuff in the class Mega Lead Conversion. We, we teach mindset, not just how to talk to people. We definitely address the whole person in that class. So if this is helpful, share it with someone else and hopefully I'll see you in a class sometime. Have a great day, everyone.